Doug Dockstader from Kingston, Ontario. You've been known as a worker that maps out your matches in detail prior to the match instead of calling into the ring. I've heard that others did that too, Randy Savage. How would you respond to critics that say a worker should call it in a ring instead of mapping it out beforehand? Say, so, hey, we're working together tonight. Any ideas? Diamond cutter. <laughs> Now this is what this Three is. Three seconds or five? This, are we going? Do this, I get a swing? This, this this is like what Dusty would say. You're just going to end in the middle with the elbow. Don't worry about anything else out of it. And they would go out and really quick, boom. If I was working with you and you were a you know a young guy coming up and trying to get something, it depends what part of my career. If it was towards the end, you would just lock up. I knee you, shoot your turnbuckle, say bank shot, diamond cutter, and just beat you out of nowhere. If, you were, if it was early in my career, I would go out there and I would say, okay, here's what I want to do. Let's lock up. Yeah, I'll take the best of you, and then I'll start to shine you. When I start to shine you, I'll start, what do you do? You know, tell me what your stuff is, and I'm going to make you, make you look good, make you look good. People are going, oh, my God, he's going to beat him. And then when you go up to slam me, I'm going <laughs> to drop behind you, spin you, bang you. So that's all you'd give? You, you'd, you'd give a general outline? No, 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 no. I need to know what you're doing. Like, first of all, do you know how to lock up? I'm going to take the arm. How do you grab it? I want to know what the stuff you do. Like, I'll give you an example. Hulk Hogan. First time Hulk and I ever worked together. And he never asked anybody anything. But he knew how much I like to know. If you say jaw jacker, if you don't know what that means, well, then how do you know what to do? Right. So in this scenario, I would do the cactus jack boot. Where, and cactus was the first one to do this. He would boot you. You'd catch his foot. And then you'd spin it, and you'd spin it right into a clothesline. If you don't know how to do that, for example, I don't know if we can get in here. When you're going to catch my boot, all right? Yeah. Now, if you're going to spin my foot, which way are you going to go? Go that way. Right. But if you don't know that, right. if you spin me this way, <laughs> we're fucked. You've got to spin me this way so I can turn, and I've got this thing hooked to me. So I come in, and if I'm doing something like a duck to left, watch the right. What does that mean? That means where if I go to clothesline, you go this way, go through a walk through, boom, that turn, that's it. Whoosh, bang. Right. Right. So if you don't understand that terminology, you turn the other way, we get jammed up. What's some other commonly misun uh, not known terminology that you guys would talk about with shorthand, but with new guys, you'd see them kind of looking at you like this? Yeah, and not know what you're doing. Yeah. Only because it, it, is, it is a language all its own. Like, I'll come in and like, bing, 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 and then I'll do that thing, that thing you do with the foot. And then I'll do, you know, it's like, if you don't know, right. it's someone, especially like... So George Acker was the, was the Cactus Jack one? That you showed me before? No, that's a, that's a spinning leg. The spinning, right. I call that the spinning boot. Jaw jacker, you go to pick me up, and I just grab a hold of your head, and I fall down on my knees. Okay. You know, if you don't, you know, you want to know where to go, what to do, you know, instinctively, something like that could be easy to, but if you're saying jaw jacker to him, like, you want me to stop you, mm -hmm. and I just, you, you reach up and you grab me, and then you jump to your knees, boom, I'm going to take that bump. Right. So it, it's really what you're calling, how you're calling it, and then if you're someone like when me and Randy, I mean, we laid out everything. They didn't always work like that. And that's what people don't understand. Like when Jimmy Hart would say, yo, uh, you know, some people would say, well, he's got to plan out all the matches. You know where he's going. He's going, God, I wish everybody would do that. Yeah. Now, if you're ever lucky enough to be at a WWE event or a TNA beforehand, you'll see all the guys in the ring figuring out what they need to do. Because so they, because a lot of them may have never worked together. Why? And that's is it part of it. It's always spoken about, kind of as a negative, that guys would plan matches. You sometimes hear it, almost like a badge of honor, like no, we call it a ring. And we then the vape, right. but then there's, there's guys like Hunter and if, when you've worked, like say, let's say, Hunter and Taker, okay, they've worked a lot together. So you know, like Steamboat and Flair, they've worked. Thousands of times right. together. So they just have that thing. Right. And that's that gift. If you've not had that experience with somebody else, it cannot be as explosive when you're just doing simple stuff because you can't call complicated shit. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense that right, you could sure. call that? Well, you could not in the ring. Yeah. Yeah, you right. just got to know that it's the take the bump over. Run right. Over, and doing that and how we're going to do it. And then it's when you were lucky. Like with Booker T, we worked a lot together to a point where. Um, we could just feel each other when we were going. There was one time we were flying through the air. I don't know what the hell we even did, but it came up. Everybody went, whoa. And I went, wow, what was that? Because <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't really plan. I don't think sure. he did either. It just sort of happened. But I like to have more control, what I call preparation with improvisation. 
I think great comedians all have a shtick. And then they take, go. right, and someone says something, if that throws you off, right. you know, now use that, bing, bang, boom, maybe forget where you are, you go to something else, okay, now you come back to here. And that's pretty much how, I mean, I wanted to know what I was doing. Preparation with improvisation. Randy, Orton, preparation with improvisation. Three matches, right? Three matches, but three left. they'll never happen. Doug Dockstader from Kingston, Ontario. You've been known as a worker that maps out your matches in detail prior to the match instead of calling into the ring. I've heard that others did that too, Randy Savage. How do you respond to critics that say a worker should call it in a ring instead of mapping it out beforehand? Say, so, hey, we're working together tonight. Any ideas? Diamond cutter. <laughs> now, this is what this Three is. Three seconds or five this, are we going? Do this, I get a swing? This, this, this is like what Dusty would say. You're just going to end in the middle with the elbow. Don't worry about anything else out of it. And then we go out and really quick, boom. If I was working with you and you were a, you know, a young guy coming up and trying to get something, it depends what part of my career. If it was towards the end, you would just lock up. I'd knee you, shoot you in turnbuckle, and say bank shot, diamond cutter, and just beat you out of nowhere. If, you were, if it was early in my career, I would go out there and I would say, okay, here's what I want to do. Let's lock up. Yeah, I'll take the best of you, and then I'll start to shine you. When I start to shine you, I'll start, what do you do? You know, tell me what your stuff is, and I'm going to make you, make you look good, make you look good. People go, oh, my God, he's going to beat him. And then when you go up to slam me, I'm going <laughs> to drop behind you, spin you, bang you. So that's all you'd give? You, you'd, you'd give a general outline? No, 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 no. I need to know what you're doing. Like, first of all, do you know how to lock up? I'm going to take the arm. How do you grab it? I want to know what the stuff you do. Like, I'll give you an example. Hulk Hogan. First time Hulk and I ever worked together, and he never asked anybody anything, but he knew how much I liked to know. If you say jawjacker, if you don't know what that means, well, then how do you know what to do? Right. So in this scenario, I would do the cactus jack boot, where and cactus was the first one to do this. He would boot you, you'd catch his foot. And then you'd spin it, and he'd spin it right into a clothesline. If you don't know how to do that, Example, I don't know if we can get in here. When you're going to catch my boot, all right? Yeah. Now, if you're going to spin my foot, which way are you going to go? Go that way. Right. But if you don't know that, 